They got a lot going on. This is a holiday season. You like this? Yeah. This is my favorite time of the year. Hey, man, I'm gonna tell you the story that I ran across about this mother-in-law who is being called out by her entire family because this year, for the holidays, she decided instead of cooking, she was gonna cater the meal. She was having her Christmas meal catered. The whole family's furious with her. But let me tell you why she wanted to cater the meal. Because everybody come over there, they always complaining. Ain't enough this. We didn't get that. I wanted some of this. I didn't like the way that tasted. The turkey was dry. Who ate all the dressing? I don't like mad marshmallows on top of my yams. I don't either, but that ain't no reason to be complaining. <laughs> so they complained, so the woman said she was catering the whole thing. So she asked everybody what they wanted. They wrote the list. She got everything. Y'all, you want Jello? We Ella. You want ice cream? You want cakes? We, how many cakes? Pies? She, she got everything. Hear why they mad at her. She charging each person. <laughs> it costs twenty one dollar per person. Cause see, after she turned the order in to the catering company. The catering company saw all them cakes, pies, all that, two turkeys, ham, you know, fried turkey, roasted turkey. They said it's gonna be $21 per person. So she told everybody it's gonna be $21 per person. Now they mad. <laughs> now, cooking for a lot of people is hard. Yeah. So I think this woman to find out what you, what you have to do. Cause you don't just start cooking that morning. You got to start like two, three days before to get all that, cause you ain't got but one oven. Hello. Some of this stuff got to get made a couple days before. So a woman, a mother, a aunt, a grandmama, they in there working. Then you come up to the house complaining. She hitting them for $21. Now, the reason I'm telling you this it's cause you got time to pull this off yourself. I think all mothers should charge just like restaurants. And not only should you pay for the food, how about a tip? You liked it, didn't you? You got everything you wanted. And here go another thing. You ain't coming in my house no more throwing all these coats across this bed. We ain't doing that this year. We got a coat check at the door and we're charging $2 for that. Yeah. And if you think you're gonna just order dessert, that's extra. <laughs> all this is extra. And all that bringing for, you gonna take home a plate? Oh, you can take home a plate. We're gonna need another $21, though. <laughs> Then everybody get through eating, and everybody walk in the living room, get ready to watch the game. Your mama standing at the door. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, cable ain't free. <laughs> to watch the football game, we got a cover charge. <laughs> and we got two drink minimum. And if you don't like our service or our restaurant, you can go somewhere else. <laughs> but I'm the only mama you got. So Merry Christmas to me. Yeah. Let's do some Hey Steve. Yeah. Yeah. All right, where's uh, Virginia? <laughs> hey, Virginia. Got your little Christmas dress on. Hi, Steve. I have what is question. that right there? That's this is my little ugly sweater. <laughs> That's an ugly sweater? This is an 
ugly sweater, yes. Oh, I thought it was cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the cutest ugly sweater. Well, thank you. I thought it was a little elf outfit. <laughs> you know, I was starting to feel. <laughs> you know what, I just saw a blink out the corner of my eye. I just saw a flicker. Did your, did your suspect? <laughs> That's an ugly sweater. Okay, what's your question? The question is, I love the holidays. It's my favorite time of the year. I decorate, I host a big party during the holidays, and my friends bring their husbands, and we all dress up in ugly sweaters, ugly pajamas, and my husband won't participate. He's the biggest Grinch ever. How can I get him to participate and dress up and be part of our party? He comes in jeans, a T-shirt, yeah. frumpy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I agree Me with too. your husband. I dressed up one year. My wife did this <laughs> ugly. I designed that after I made the mistake on Miss Universe. After I gave out, after I gave out the wrong name, that same Christmas, I came up with the T-shirts that said Merry Easter. <laughs> I don't like dressing up. I'm not. But everybody else is dressed up. All the other husbands and boyfriends come dressed up. He doesn't dress up. Should have married them. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Like, like I want to be fly on Christmas. Like this Christmas, I've already picked what I'm wearing on Christmas. I'm wearing a robe set. <laughs> they actually nod overseas in Europe. They wear them out with bow ties and stuff. I'm actually, I got the, they call them trouser sets. They're, they look like pajamas, but they so fly, you could wear the, the long robe as a jacket. And it's, it's only one of a kind. They only make one of each kind. It's called Alta Satoria. That's what I'm wearing on Christmas. Can you send him one? <laughs> Okay, let me ask you something. Yes. If you can come within $1,000 of what it costs, I will send you one. I'm gonna say 15. Oh, you were so close. Oh, God, you were so Is that close. Within the thousand? Yeah, you were, you were almost. Seven, almost. 16? 17? <laughs> now, you was almost there. 18, 20? Can't give you one. 20? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.